couple students. We are gonna be glazing today. I wanna to show you which colors we have. And they'll all look a little bit different. All of these will be a shiny glaze. So let me show you what this one is. This one is a lime green color. It's called melon. And it will be, it has some rocks in it that make it like a little bit of a darker blue, but mostly it's lime green. We will have this one, it's red, it looks red. It'll be like this one here. It's a shiny red glaze. We have this one, which is orange. It will be like this one. And we will have yellow on the end. It will be like this. We will do the roof a different color. So we're gonna to try to be careful not to get glaze on the roof and we're not gonna get glaze on the bottom. I am gonna do mine with orange and I'm gonna show you a couple things to do first. First, hold it upside down. Take your brush, hold it like a pencil, dip it in. You can just wipe a little bit of it off and you're gonna go right around the bottom. We don't want any to get on the bottom. I'm gonna keep turning it and I'm holding it in my hand. I glaze around to the door and then I glaze inside the door as well. You're gonna do inside the windows and inside the doors. Now I'm back to where I started. Once I do that, then I'm going to glaze the outside of my building. I'm going to work my way inside these windows too. And if you can't get it to go into a spot, just take a little bit of extra glaze and just let it drip right in there. Keep turning it so that you don't miss spots, like I missed right underneath that window frame or that shutter. Keep turning it, and you can see that the glaze is drying pretty fast. I'm holding on to the roof, so I wanna keep my hand clean so I don't end up getting glaze on the roof so that we can make it another color. So you can see I glazed inside that window too. Glaze that window frame or the deck. Continue turning it and just being careful not to drop it. I'm gonna go around here. And if you can't get it in a spot, drip it in there. So here I'm just gonna drip it right in there. Now that I have that section done, sometimes I find it helpful to turn it around and to hold it with my fingers on the inside of the building. Then I can easily do these edges and just kind of rotating my wrist. Then I don't have to turn it quite as much. Take your time, get inside that window, get drip it right into those designs, get above the window, brush out any of the drips, keep turning it. And you can see that I'm working from the bottom of my building up to the roof. As I get closer to the roof, that is where I'm gonna be the most careful because I don't wanna get any of this orange on my roof if we're gonna be able to make it a different color. So look at how slowly and carefully I'm making sure not to get it on the roof. We'll turn it a little bit more, make sure there aren't any white spots. Now here, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna get right up close to the edge, but I'm not letting it get on the sides. So watch what I'm doing here. Taking it, going slow and steady, just right up to the edge, but not over the edge. Slow and steady, just a little bit of glaze, right up to the side. Please remember, it's not a race. We'll turn it a little bit, right up to the edge. And then I turn it again, because the roof has four sides. So this is side number, I don't know if this is three or four, let's check. Right to 
the edge. Oh, I almost went over the side. And I'm still being careful. So it looks like just this edge. And I gotta just kind of turn it, let my brush get under there. And just having a little drop of glaze and kind of pushing that drop right to the edge. Now I have one good coat on the whole thing. Once I have one good coat on it, I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna do it all over again. So here, I'm gonna make sure that I hold it. If, if it's drying, you can take it and just set it down and let it dry and just be patient. Once it's dry, then you should pick it up. We're just pretending it's dry. And I would start from the beginning again. I would go right around the bottom Go inside the doors, inside the windows, all the way up, all the way to the edge, then let it dry, and then do it a third time. We will spend time next time on these two. If you need to get your third coat on next time, and then your roof color on next time, that's what we're gonna do. So you don't have to be all done today, we're gonna do more glazing next time. Main things, don't get glaze on the bottom, don't get glaze on the roof or the sides of the roof, take your time and let it dry. The only time I'm gonna set it down is when I'm letting it dry, and I'm gonna make sure I don't put it in a spot that's got glaze, and I'm always holding my brush in my hand because if I put it on the cup and I let go, it could spill the cup. So just hold on to your brush, make sure we don't spill any of the glaze. Let's have fun working on these.